Hello there, guitar maniacs. Um, I'm coming today to make one of these versus comparisons of two guitars that seem to be alike and that I've seen many people are researching because they are very pretty. Uh, the guitar, those two guitars are the um, Fender Telecaster FMT Flame Maple Top. This one is in red, and uh, the FMT, which is in black and has not really a flame maple top, but still called the FMT. So, why, you may be wondering, i making a comparison be between these two guitars. Well, um, these two are getting a lot of attention because they are one of the very few models by Fender which are fairly affordable and are set neck. So there's no bolt in, it, in them and they just look gorgeous. They have the abalone like, I don't think they're real, but inlays and uh, and all the extras that you could expect like the painted matching headstock and all that fun stuff. So let's talk a, a, a bit about them and see what you guys think about these two guitars. Um, so first let me put one away for a sec and I'll tell you a little bit about this one, the first one. This one, I don't know if the camera is gonna make and give him justice, but it's a flame maple top, I guess that's why it's called the EFMT uh, Telecaster. And um, on the paper, all the specs are great, meaning that uh, it's got all the things that make a guitar very expensive, but it actually isn't because of the country of manufacture. So it's got a nice flame maple top. It's got this type of bridge, which is kind of unusual in tellies, meaning that they usually have the ashtray, if they're very traditional with the two pivot point for each one of the strings, uh, or the bulkier one. But this one I actually like a lot because it's kind of, it feels like a strut, but it feels like a telly. It's, it's kind of weird. Uh, and it's cool because if you're used to playing a, a regular Strat, uh, chances are you are going to be very comfortable with this type of guitar. It's got also a carved or recessed top, meaning that it's not flat, so they took some time to sand it back so that it would be uh, nice and wavy. Uh, the finish is really, really nice, much nicer than you would expect. If you see, it's red see-through. And this, it's, this got a nice binding all over the body and even the neck. And uh, oh, I'm getting a lot of reflections, my apologies. But uh, you'll have to take my word on this. The headstock, uh, it's really well finished. One of the things that always kind of turn me off about um, affordable guitars is that the headstock usually it's the place where they pay less less attention to detail and they are like unfinished or raw or something like that and not this one this one they really did a really nice job it looks like a Fender Strat Deluxe made in the US so when it comes to features this is really nice oh yeah one one thing that the pickups are Fender and this is an older model, this is a uh, 2003 and I picked this one particularly to compare it to the other one because this is made in Korea and the black one that you just saw was made in Indonesia. So now that I gave you kind of like the general specifications uh, of what this guitar is gonna look like or what is it that it's got that makes it stand out, 22 frets by the way, um, I'm gonna show you the other one and see what's going on there. And then I'll give you my personal impressions on which one I will pick or why or or which one should be good for you. So the recessed, I'm trying to give you an angle on this one now. The recessed top, it's still there and it feels the same. It's really nicely made. Same type of bridge. The, uh, hold on, oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a difference. The pickup rings, okay, okay, that's interesting. I haven't noticed that before. Pickup rings on this one, this isn't like in a special edition, uh, are made of plastic. On this one, they are made of metal. 
this one does not have a maple flame top this one does again Indonesia Korea uh, the pickups on this one are Fender I believe and uh, this one are EMG which to be honest I I was a little surprised that they put EMGs on a Telecaster, which is kind of like the opposite of what you would want MGs on, right? Um, and I, I bought this guitar at a, at a pawn shop, a local pawn shop, because it was mint, it was very affordable. I played it and I thought it, would, it played great, so I brought it home. But my first, before I researched it, because it was one of those grabs that you get it or, you know, it's gone the next day. Um, when, when, uh, when I first saw it, I thought that the pickups were aftermarket. That somebody just, you know, bought it, it's got, it, it would have like, a, say, more Duncans or something that, like that, and uh, they, they switched to EMGs. But no, these are actually stock when I researched it and I realized that it's got the cavity for the 9 volt battery in the back. Actually very well made. I'm very pleased with that. And this is, this is actually the way it is. Same thing with the headstock. The headstock is really well, well made and really well finished. And so is the back. On the back of this one though, and uh, I guess the other one is built the same, but because the it's just a finish, it's not transparent, I cannot tell, so I can only tell you about this one, uh, what I'm gonna say now, which is that the body seems to be made out of three parts, I think, is one, two, and three, no, four, four chunks of wood. And now here's what it gets interesting. The, the neck is cut like this. So it's not like this is a whole piece for neck. Whoops. It's, this is not neck. This, this is divided into two sections. There's a cut over here. The upper section wood. It's the neck. This is the body. So I thought that was a wise way to make it because it seems very solid and stable. Um, another difference is, well, on this one I have no idea how it is, I'm assuming the method of construction is probably the same, but I cannot really assure that. Um, and, oh yeah, something that's also a little strange for a telly, in my humble opinion, or I haven't seen many, is the three-way switch, which is the same as an, in a Gibson Les Paul. The scale is just your regular uh, Fender scale, long scale. I would say it's 25, 50. And this one has the same three switch, three way switch. And, but there's a difference between the two. On this one, you can split the coils and that comes from, uh, that's stock, that comes from the factory like that. Just the, the tone moves like this. On this one, no, which was a little sad, but it also kind of makes sense that somebody who was buying an, a guitar with EMGs will probably not have a whole lot of use for um, coil split, which is uh, the sound that actually I was looking for really bad. But that's all right. I have another telly, so I'm happy. But anyways, so if you're wondering about the playability of the two, um, I thought the two of them played really good. I'm, uh, I've always liked Korean and Indonesian guitars a lot, um, but lately I'm more in the Indonesian side. I think this guitar plays, uh, I think it's just at the height of a Japanese guitar in all senses. It's really well finished, it plays great, the pieces, the parts seem durable, although this is uh, a... Uh, 012, so it's only five years old. You, we cannot really know yet. This one is been around. This one is uh, all three, so it's like 14 years old. Uh, and the pieces are beginning to tarnish a little bit on this one. The uh, the hardware parts are a little are losing a little bit of their coat. Um, it's sad because I've seen many super nice Korean guitars having this issue. It's like the 
I don't know if it's the metal itself or what is it that they used to paint over it that is it doesn't seem very durable um, it doesn't really do anything against your playability it doesn't sound worse because of that it just looks a little odd it looks like they could have taken care of that detail a little better but again it's, it doesn't really do anything um, but on this one so far I don't see any signs of corrosion at all so Mm, I like that. Also, when it comes to the neck, let me double check. I was going to say something, but I want to make sure. What do they feel like? Okay. They feel very, very similar. I would say this one, the one in, made in Indonesia, is a little thinner, but that might be just my mind playing tricks on me. It feels, yeah, it feels a touch um, slimmer on this one, uh, but they are all very comfortable. I did notice, though, something as well, which is that the uh, Indonesian version not only stays in tune a little better than the other one, but it also fret buzzes less. Um, I set up all my guitars myself. I have been done that for many, many years. And I know exactly what I like. I like low action, but not extremely low. Uh, I like my sixth string a little higher, so that you know when when you pluck the sixth string, it doesn't do this. You know, that that sort of thing. And uh, what I'm, in in my opinion, with my basic setup, this one um, was flawless. It didn't really bass match what I did before I was kind of exaggerated by the way um, and, but this one especially in the first uh, maybe two three frets there was a little bit of buzzing um, nothing significant I wouldn't say that's terrible or even bad but I thought this one was a little bit edgier better than the other one what else yeah, like I said before this one it's got all the bindings, all the other things that the other one has. I don't think anything is missing. Obviously, it's got this cavity that this one does not have because it did not come with EMGs. String through, which is always good, or I really liked it. And, uh, and the tone, oh yeah, I didn't talk about that before. This one I know that they've been making for a while. Uh, and it seems to be getting a bit more popular lately. I don't know exactly why, but it seems like the price is going up. So I assume they really, and I don't see many for sale as I did before. So I assume people are buying them more. Um, they now make this one with, uh, they include Seymour Duncan pickups instead of Fender pickups. I have not tried the Fender, the Seymour Duncan version. I've only tried these two, but I can tell you this one actually sounds fendery uh, when uh, when you get the handbackers to my ears uh, it sounds similar to my um, I'll show you in a second to my regular Fender Stratocaster with a handbacker this guy this is a deluxe Strat so this pickup to me sounds very similar to this one over here meaning that you get distortion but it's not super high gain it's not corrosive and it's got a touch of you know the cream tone uh, which is that you can hear the pick really well through the string i don't know it's just uh, i think it's a very good sounding pickup and when you split it you do get all the all what you would expect from a single coil guitar uh, so I'm very pleased with the pickups on this one. For some reason, people are going crazy about the Seymour Duncans of the the newer versions. And uh, quite honestly, I don't know if it's really that they are better or that people love the name Seymour Duncan on their guitars and they feel like, you know, that they are getting a very better value because they have, you know, uh, Fender has to outsource the pickups and therefore, you know, it's more expensive or something. I, I do not know. I do like Seymour Duncan just uh, fine. It, I think the, the pickups are great. But uh, 
to be honest, I wouldn't change these ones over here for anything. I think it, they work great with this instrument. And there's, I don't know, there's no reason for me to change them or to recommend you to be prepared to change yours if, if you happen to get one. And, um, and I think that was it about these two guitars. I don't know if I'm missing anything out. Um, let me see. Maybe something. Um, the tuners. The tuners look the same to me. Like, actually the same pieces of hardware. I don't know if they were manufactured in the same place. I'm sorry, the reflections are just terrible. But I've noticed also that this one did not have, does not have any corrosion, and this one has a little bit. The, so it's consistent with my previous statement about the hardware on the um, Korean guitars. Now, I, I don't know if they already fixed this and the newer Korean guitars are flawless and the hardware is really, really good. But I've had several Ibanezes from the early 2000s, late 90s and uh, even mid 2000s. And they all seem to have this problem that the the, the hardware works out really quickly and uh, it looks really aged. So I think this is it. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to leave any comments down below or or even email me or something. Oh yeah, yeah. The, hold on. Yeah, this this video is never ending. The uh, the frets are large, like really large. So if if you're expecting to get, uh, where's my camera? This one has no fret word. That's kind of cool. If you're expecting the feel of a telly, you're gonna be greatly disappointed, because first the neck seems a little thinner. Like I think in a telly it would be like a little larger, like this. And this one is a little thinner, which is great if you don't have the largest hands. And the frets are super huge. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're jumbo, but uh, they don't feel fendery at all. So the whole guitar, when you when I play it, um, and this again, this might be only in my mind, but it feels more like an Ibanez than it does like a Fender. Which I guess it kind of makes sense since uh, Ibanez has been building guitars in Korea forever. But it really, it really does. It's like an Ibanez with only 22 frets, something like that. Oh, the, um, and you have the Comfort Cat over here, which is cool. So if you're used to strats or super strats, this is, this is going to be a cool looking guitar that's really easy to play. And that is it. Um, I think I'm gonna link, uh, leave you a link down below for, uh, I, I made a video playing the other one. I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to give you uh, some sound samples of this one, fingers crossed. Um, but the, the whole point of this video was to give you some insight about the guitar itself. So there it is. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in another video. If you think I miss anything, just let me know. See you.